Hi everyone, this is Dr. Amar, consultant bariatric and metabolic surgeon from Hyderabad. In the recent past, Mr. Veeramachinan Ramakrishna's diet became a sensation in Telugu states. He claims that if anyone follows his diet, diabetes and obesity disappear permanently. Mr. Veeramachinan Ramakrishna's diet is not a new diet. It is called ketogenic diet or keto diet. It has been followed in different parts of the world for the past several years. There are other diets like uh, Mediterranean diet, Atkins diet, Paleo diet, Joan diet, Vegetarian diet, Vegan diet. If anyone follows ketogenic diet or some other diet, will diabetes and obesity disappear permanently? Let us see the facts. If you take food, you will get energy. What to do with that energy is not controlled by your conscious mind or willpower. This energy is controlled by more than 100 hormones, more than 4000 genes. These hormones and genes utilize part of this energy for metabolism. Part of the energy they will convert into heat and send out of the body. Remaining energy they will store in the body in the form of fat. How much amount of fat to be stored in the body, where to store is decided by these hormones and genes. If these hormones and genes decide to store only 5 kilograms of fat, your body will have only 5 kilograms of fat. If these hormones and genes decide to store 50 kilograms of fat, your body will have 50 kilograms of fat. This decided value is called fat set point or fat mass. This value will vary from person to person. Those people who are thin, this fat set point is less. Those people who are having excess weight, this fat set point is more. This metabolism, heat production and fat storage, this total process is called energy balance. This energy balance is tightly regulated. When it is so much tightly regulated, why some people are having a low fat set point, why some people are having high fat set point. If any person is 50 kilograms more than what he is supposed to be, if he thinks in his mind, I don't want 50 kilograms, I want only 5 or 10 kilograms, that fat set point will not come down. What I mean to say is, fat set point will not be controlled by your conscious mind. But external factors will influence your diet habits, exercise, stress, sleep pattern, all will influence these hormones and genes and increase or decrease fat set point. If you are taking unhealthy foods, fat set point will increase. If you don't do exercise, if you are not sleeping properly and if you are stressed out, this fat set point can increase. This fat set point is a dynamic value. It is constantly changing every second depending upon the external factors influence. All people are taking unhealthy foods, all are not doing exercise, why only few people are gaining weight. Some people will be very thin, in spite of taking all nonsense foods, they will be thin only. Some people in spite of taking very small quantity of unhealthy food, they are going to gain weight. Why this difference? Those people who are having genetic tendency to gain weight, they will gain weight in spite of taking very small quantity of unhealthy foods, in spite of doing exercise. So, taking unhealthy food, not doing exercise, superimposed by genetic tendency will cause weight gain. Let us imagine a person who is supposed to be 70 kilograms by following unhealthy diet, by not doing exercise and because of genetic tendency, from 70 kilograms, he went to 120 kilograms. That means 50 kilograms weight he gained. His fat set point is approximately 50 kilograms. Now he decided to lose weight. He tried diet control, exercise, Amway, Herbalife, Naturopathy and all these diets which I told earlier he followed and he is successful in losing 10 kilograms of fat. So hormones have decided 50 kilograms. Now he lost 10 kilograms. How much fat he will be having now? Actual fat in his body now will be 40 kilograms. But still hormones want to store 50 kilograms only. To lose this 10 kilograms, he has to fight against the hormones. If he fights against the hormones, will hormones and genes keep quiet? They won't keep quiet. They will fight back. They will induce counter changes. They will make sure to replace all the lost weight over a period of 6 months to 2 years. So even if he loses weight, he is going to regain weight over a period of time. This fat set point works like thermostat in water heater. In water heater, set the thermostat value to 75 degrees centigrade. Then water will heat up to that level. Now pour cool water in the water heater. Temperature will come down. Actual temperature is coming down, but the thermostat value is still 75. Just imagine that water uh, temperature has come down to 40 degrees centigrade. Will that water temperature stays at 40 degrees centigrade? No. After some time, 
water will heat back to 75 degrees centigrade. As long as that thermostat value is 75, how many times you try to reduce the water temperature, it is going back to 75. Similarly, when fat set point is set at a higher level, whenever you try to lose weight by diet control and exercise, these hormones and genes will induce counter changes in the body, they will increase appetite, they will reduce metabolism, they will reduce heat production. Ultimately, they will make sure to replace lost weight and they will increase the fat level back to the set point. Then what to do to lose weight? Most common mistake people do is, without changing diet habits, they will reduce food intake. So instead of taking 4 burgers, they will take 1 burger. Instead of taking this much rice, they will take this much rice. And they will do exercise, thinking that they will lose weight. As I told you before, unhealthy diets and lack of exercise will increase fat set point. If you reverse this process, that means stop all unhealthy foods, do exercise regularly, there is every chance that the increased fat set point can come down to normal level. So you have to stop pizzas, burgers, ice creams, cakes, sweets, cool drinks, biscuits, chocolates, samosa, vada, bhaji, puri, all these unhealthy foods have to be stopped. Refined carbohydrates have to be avoided, that means no white rice, no sugar, no white bread. And you have to follow only healthy diet. That means you can take chicken, fish, eggs, nuts, sprouts, oats, milk, buttermilk, ragi malt, fruits, vegetables. All this healthy diet can be taken. So quality of food is more important than quantity. So by changing your food habits and doing regular exercise, whatever the fat set point that is increased, it can come back to normal level. If your weight burden is not much, that means if you are only 5 kilograms to 10 kilograms extra than what you are supposed to be, by changing your food habits and doing exercise regularly, that point can come down to normal level. As the weight burden increases, chance of fat set point coming back to normal level will reduce. So if you are 20, 30, 40, 50 kilograms extra than what you are supposed to be, in spite of changing to healthy diet and doing exercise regularly, set point may not come down to normal level completely. You may be successful in losing only 5 or 10 kilograms weight, not 40 or 50 kilograms. If your body mass index is 30 and above, if 100 members try to lose weight, 20 members will never lose weight. Remaining 80 members will be successful in losing weight, but 76 out of these 80 members will regain weight. That means ultimately failure rate is 96 percent when body mass index is 30 and above. So these people will require bariatric surgery. So people think that after bariatric surgery, weight loss is because of food restriction and whatever the food that is being taken will not get absorbed properly. But that is not true. Main reason for weight loss after bariatric surgery is not food restriction or malabsorption. It is mainly due to hormonal changes and genetic changes. All bariatric surgeries are going to alter these hormones and genes and reset the fat set point to a lower level. So people will lose weight towards the new set point. After bariatric surgeries, hunger will come down, metabolic rate will increase, heat production will increase because of the hormonal changes. Now after bariatric surgery, hormones don't want to store more fat. After bariatric surgeries, initially there will be food restriction. But as time goes on, food intake will increase. In spite of that, people will not regain weight. If anyone regains weight after gastric sleeve, if they undergo duodenal switch or loop duodenal switch, that's called revision bariatric surgery, again they will lose weight. Power of this duodenal switch and loop duodenal switch is very high. Out of 100 members who undergo duodenal switch or loop duodenal switch, 90 to 95 members will not regain weight. Now we will come to ketogenic diet or viramachinini diet. If you follow viramachinini diet or ketogenic diet, will diabetes and obesity get skewed permanently? That's wrong. If anyone is in mild obesity category and if they have mild diabetes, if they follow healthy diet and do regular exercise, weight will come down, diabetes will be under control without medications. Weight will be in normal limits only and diabetes will be under control only as long as they are following healthy diet and exercise. Once they stop healthy diet and go back to unhealthy foods, once they stop exercise, again weight will increase. If anyone's weight is beyond certain limits, like if they are in severe obesity category or if their diabetes is uncontrolled. So even if they follow healthy diet and exercise, response will be temporary.
they are going to get back their weight and their diabetes will come back because of hormonal adaptation so it's not possible for any type of diet including ketogenic diet to cure diabetes and obesity permanently definitely some people with less weight burden and less diabetes burden they'll respond very well but not all people are we supposed to follow ketogenic diet or not any type of diet will have healthy components and unhealthy components ketogenic diet also has healthy components and unhealthy components refined carbohydrates have to be avoided that's definitely correct so rice has to be avoided sugar has to be avoided bread has to be avoided high fat diet is not good in long run high fat diet is going to increase fat set point in long run even though you respond well initially you are going to bounce back natural fats are good but you are not supposed to take beyond certain limit high protein diet is not good for all people if anyone is having kidney problem if they take high protein diet their creatinine level will increase kidney will fail so it is not advisable to follow ketogenic diet indiscriminately in ketogenic diet fruits have to be avoided fruits are definitely required for health so they will provide antioxidants they will provide fiber and some vitamins so take only healthy components of ketogenic diet and leave unhealthy components if you want to follow ketogenic diet take opinion of your family doctor whether you can follow it or not then only you follow my advice is you follow healthy diet do regular exercise these two will help to prevent obesity and if you are in mild obesity category you can come down to normal level and if you are in mild diabetes category your diabetes will be under control but if you are having severe obesity you consult a bariatric surgeon if you are having uncontrolled diabetes first consult endocrinologist or diabetologist take their opinion use medications or insulin depending upon their suggestion if you are not responding to medications you can consider metabolic surgery which can uh, give long lasting uh, diabetes control my sincere advice is don't believe magical therapies it has been proven beyond doubt that effect of any diet including ketogenic diet is temporary when weight burden is beyond certain limit all these diets have been compared with bariatric surgery people are losing weight after following diet people are losing weight after bariatric surgery also but those who underwent bariatric surgery they are maintaining long lasting weight loss those people who follow diets even though they are losing weight initially they are regaining weight in long run so in severe obesity category role of any type of diet is limited my advice is follow healthy diet do regular exercise this will help you to prevent obesity this will help you to be fit thank you very much